In 1914, a Japanese steamship called the Komogatu Maru arrived at the docks of British Columbia. This ship carried 376 passengers from Punjab, India. 340 Sikhs, 24 Muslims, 12 Hindus, all considered subjects of the British Empire. Led by Gurdit Singh, the passengers on the Komagata Maru sailed halfway across the world to challenge Canadian racist and exclusionary immigration laws, such as the continuous journey. This law was designed specifically to limit the entry of non-white peoples into Canada. For two months, passengers aboard the Komogata Maru were stuck on the boat at the docks of British Columbia without adequate food and water and surrounded by a flurry of anti-Asian violence on the streets, the media, by the police and politicians. Finally, the Komogata Maru was sent back to India only to be met by a British gunboat and further violence. Twenty people died and many were injured. I was never told what it means that it happened, how similar things have happened countless times between then and today. I wasn't given the opportunity to imagine or understand how it might have impacted my life as a young South Asian girl growing up in what we call Canada. I now understand the reasons I didn't like history as a child. It was taught to me in ways that erased who I am and the stories that made me. It made invisible real things that shape all our lives physically, tangibly, emotionally, intergenerationally. It forgot to pay attention to the little things that energize and inspire us in big ways. The Brown Canada Project is about uncovering and understanding the legacies that shape our lives. The Brown Canada Project is about documenting the histories we know and seek to find out. It's about creating and imagining everything that is still a mystery.